You bet not flash me. What's going down, Power Director peeps? You know what day it is. It's Saturday. And today, I'm going to show you how to do the screenshot flash effect using Power Director 18 and Power Director 365. If you're new to my channel and you want to learn how to use Power Director, click the subscribe button and click on the bell to get notifications every time I upload content to YouTube. Here we are in Power Director. The screenshot flash effect is an awesome effect that I use on music videos, but you can use it in any video where you want to add some flavor or a little spice of life to your videos. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to make the screenshot flash effect for your videos. Get ready. I'm about to flash you. As you can see, I have a clip of a girl and she's actually dancing. So if I click on play, you see her doing her thing. Mm, do it. Mm, yeah, do it. Mm, do it. Yeah, do. all right, that's enough of that. So the girl's dancing and we want to create a screenshot where it actually pauses on one frame, flashes, and then fades away, but the girl keeps dancing, just like you saw in the demo. So the first thing that you want to do is go ahead and grab your clip and drag it down to track one. Then you want to move your playhead to a position where you want to create the screen flash. And this is a great position here where she's kind of stopped and it's really clear as far as her face. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the split button to go ahead and split this clip at this position. And now what I want to do is go ahead and click on the snapshot button. So this will create a frame or a picture of this frame. So I'm going to left click on that. At this point, you can give your uh, picture a name decide where you want to save it. I'm just going to go ahead and click on save. And now that snapshot has actually been placed into the media library to be used. So at this point, you want to go ahead and drag the snapshot right down to where you split the clip. So you know, it's exactly at the same place where you did your frame grab exactly at the same place where that clip is split. So you're good to go there. If you need to change the duration of the snapshot, so it's not too long, you can do that. Just place your cursor at the end of the snapshot, hold down your left mouse, and then you can drag it to the duration that you want. Now we need to create the flash. So we're going to add a screen blend mode to this. So you want to right click on the picture, go to set clip attributes, go to set blending mode, and then we're going to select screen. So that pumps up the highlight. So it really creates a nice little flash at the time that the playhead goes across this picture, but we don't want it to stay that way the whole time. We actually want it to fade out so that the woman can keep dancing and everything stays fluid. So in order to make it fade out, we're going to go ahead and go to the transition room. We're going to go to the general tab and then we're going to go to the fade transition and we're going to drag this down to the end of the snapshot. Now, if the fade is too long, you can change the time on that fade. All you need to do is make sure that you click on this little duration button here. And then if you want to change the duration of the fade, you can do so here. I'm going to leave mine at one second and I'm going to go ahead and click on OK. And now you can go ahead and play this back and see what it looks like. Now, if you like what you see, I'll leave some links to buy Power Director in the video description. I know you want more power director love, so be sure to click on these videos to watch more of my content and smash my cartoon face to subscribe. Don't forget to drop me a comment and a like down below.